very prepared. We weren't, and I take full responsibility for the loss. Just, Coach, how, how frustrating is it when, when you're watching them, you know, shoot the lights out on the other side, and, and your guys are getting open looks, but they're rolling out of the rim, they're popping out? You know, it's, I, I, I talk to my guys all the time about I don't care about the ball going in. Uh, it's never been something I, I dwell on what we do on the defense and what we do on the backboard. So when I don't see us rebounding, that's frustrating. When I don't see us defending and running our schemes the right way, did they make some tough shots tonight? Absolutely, they did. And that, that's going to happen sometimes. But I was more disappointed in our rebounding and our defensive intensity that wasn't anything. Part of basketball is your offense is going to be there certain nights. You have to always be able to rely on your defense. Steve, it seemed like early in the first half you were dictating the pace a little more and playing it more of your style, slowing LIU down, and then they, they got hot from, from three later on. Uh, you know, they got hot from three, and you got to give them credit for that. You can't give that team second looks. They're too good offensively. They're, they're over a 60% clip on an efficiency rating, which is off the charts, and we've charted that. And, you know, we, we committed a lot of dumb fouls, I thought, early, put them in the bonus. I thought we had to back our press off a little bit, and then they really got momentum going when we did that late in the first half, and it kind of just carried over to the second. You talk about the rebounding. Is that the, when when you're not shooting the ball that well, that almost doubles it when you're not getting second chance points? Yeah, that. my thing is I'd be okay with that um, if we had 18 offensive rebounds. But when I see us not only getting five offensive rebounds and you shoot 30%, well, that tells me something about our team's mental approach right there. They're not ready to play. Because what a good team does is they say, okay, we're not shooting the ball well, but we have to create second and third opportunities by getting the offensive glass. And we didn't do that tonight. And, listen, you could say we had a week off. You could say, uh, you know, Russ, all that. We weren't ready to give LIU all the credit. They came in and took us out of we wanted to do. He, uh, he did a terrific job, and I give him all the credit in the world. Any other questions? Is there an update on uh, Beeman? And do you think he would have made a difference? No, absolutely not. not would have been not the same result. Scoring, but no. Is he kind of leader? No. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Absolutely not. He he wouldn't. <laughs> Liu. They, they we, we could have had. Um, we could have brought back. You know, Lowell Dang and Louis Flores for us tonight. And you know, Lowell, Lowell from Fairfield, Louis for us, and it wouldn't matter. Liu is much better team tonight. Is there an update on him when you? When you we don't. We don't have. We don't have him right now. And, and I'm, I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna ask Santa for a gift, and I'm, I'm hoping he listens. Thanks, guys.